Hey, what's going on? Y'all Jay from JS Films. Now, last week, the GTA 6 trailer dropped, which was great and all, but Alexander, the Unrecord Mastermind, also dropped some footage and new teaser video clips for the Unreal Engine 5 Unrecord, which, as you all know, pretty much created a new genre in video games. So, this is a meme and a short clip, but here's some new footage from Alexander. He sent me this because the, the low-res version is kind of hard to see, so I had him send me the 1080p footage. So let's go ahead and check this out. So at the bottom here, you're going to see uh, GTA 6. This is actually GTA 6, but he's going to flip it over to on record. So that's the trailer. So I have it here in DaVinci Resolve so we can actually take a look at this frame by frame. And I will mute this here. Now, additionally, he did send me some pictures, screenshots from the screen. So let me go ahead and drag and drop those in. And again, I muted the video. So let's control Foxtrot and let's take a look. So again, this is GTA 6. Cool. And this is unrecorded, and I can actually frame by frame. He didn't know it's gonna frame by frame this. So here we go. Boom! Kick the door open. Man, this is a. Uh, this is pretty intense. And one thing that I noticed with 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 this teaser is that he's really perfected. Now, as far as I know, again, disclaimer. His team is like one environment artist, him, and Milton, which is his animator. That's as far as last I know. I know his team's growing, but they have perfected lighting for photorealism. I, I mean, the exposure values is what separates him from a lot of people. All right. And if you see this exposure change right here, that is such a subtle effect. So Unrecord looks photorealistic, not just because of one thing. It's a multitude of things combined together. So this, if, if you've used cameras, camcorders before, you know what this is. This is your camera auto-exposing, because right now it's exposing for the interiors, the inside. So it's bright. But as soon as he steps out, it's going to do an exposure change. Boom. Let me go back up. See, look at that. Gradually. So right now, it's exposed for the indoors. But as soon as you kick that door in, boom, that camera is going to expose for the brightest area, which is the sky. That's just one kind of thing that makes this realistic. He knows his exposure values. He knows how a camera reacts. Awesome work. All right. So let's move on. We have some decals right there. I am noticing something funny happening with the tires here. I'm not sure if this is LODing. I've seen this before uh, in Fortnite Creative. Like when it LODs, it snaps into the lower rest version and becomes a little more uh, jagged. I'm not sure if that's what's happening there. But yeah, that 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 kind of sticks out for me. Shadows look good. The shadows are proper. You have this man right here. You have this crate right here. So that means that the sun is on the left side. You have some nice abandoned cars in there. Love that. All right, so here we go. We got the trees. Got the motion blur going. Yeah, this is looking nice. I think I have the same asset right here. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, so here it goes. GTA 6 again. All right, here we go. So here's another one. And this is more like in a training environment here. It's so crazy. And I told him, I'm like, dude, I have like a similar scene that I'm trying to do in Path Trace mode with like training, training areas like this. Because as you all know, 
I made that path tracing render, the CQB, which really was inspired by Unrecord, but in path trace mode. But I have something similar like this, like wood and area. I love that, dude. This is great. And there's another thing that you're going to notice is the shells. Right? With with the shell casings, I don't know if y'all actually shot before. You don't usually see these. They're so quick. Like, if you have 15 rounds on a magazine, you ain't going to see all 15 come out. It's not going to happen. So this, like, blurring out is good. That's what you're supposed to do. I shouldn't be able to see this without any motion blur. That thing is ejecting fast out of there. So again, many things, like little small details he's putting together that is selling this effect. All right, so we got another scene right here. And this is Milton just doing, this is Milton being Milton. Just his animation, animation skills at work right now. And I do like their weapons and their gloves as well. It looks really good and really photorealistic. Ah, that's GTA 6 again. Fast forward. All right, so here we go. Again, this is the same thing. It's like a trailer scenario. Dude, it's crazy. I, I have a scene like this, but theirs look amazing. Theirs look amazing. This looks so real. Because what I did was I found this marketplace asset, like a warehouse, and I'm retexturing everything. But this looks much better. That's crazy. The tires look good. And, and, and again, if you pay attention to the top right corner of this, that is so subtle. Like, other people would ignore that detail. Like, ah, bro, we got a top right light over there. Just ignore that piece. But now, for him, it's like, you know what? And you see these little specks on the lens itself. Look at that. That's actually reflecting and reacting to that light. He's a magician. Alexander is you're a magician. He's gonna watch this. You're you're a magician, dude. Alright, so here we go. I would probably say this is probably I would say like the least photorealistic spot area. I think just because if I'm looking at the ground, I don't know. To me, this is probably like okay. This doesn't look as photorealistic as ever. It might be because of the bricks. There's something about these bricks that is just screaming, not real for me. All right, here we go. He has a forest scene. He's perfected this here. He he has. The express space, yeah, because this is actually uh, this is gameplay. Now I guess space is kind of like yeah, talking, yeah, because the, the 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 police is talking now. Now look at this detail for this fucking hand, man. Looks great. All right, here's here's another one. We got, we got, this is, does it matter right here? Oh, I love this too. Th their guns are so good. It's not shiny. Like the perfect, the roughness on it is just right. Here's some flashlights. Flashlight scene. Got some red flare on the left. And you got some car chases now. This is... You have an explosion on the left. Oh, that's so nice, man. And, and, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna play this back. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I'm not trying to get political. I'm not a political person. Get that. I don't have time for that shit. But having the perspective of a police officer, right? Because we've been criminals in games before. We've done that. We have, all the time, we're always the criminal, whatever. But to get the perspective of a police officer in a game, that's a different take and it's scary, right? Because being a police officer, first of all, they don't get paid much. And and if you're you're in the military, if you've been a veteran or military, being a police officer, you're pretty much deployed every day, every year. You don't know what's going to happen to you. We just had a police officer die here, got ran over by a criminal in Las Vegas. So I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get into politics, race, all that stuff, man. But I feel like getting the perspective of a police officer responding to 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 like just a simple disturbance and all of a sudden you're getting shot at in a split second is a pretty insane perspective at this whole thing, you know? Because, and again, I'm not trying to get political, but but by having this, and I don't know if Alexander is going to go with like, I'm not going to, I don't know if he's going to go with like cops version of this, like realistic scenarios or like Mission Impossible type of scenarios. But if he goes like realistic scenarios, there's just an ordinary cop and you get a call saying, hey, there's a there's a dispute at a trailer park or whatever, and then all of a sudden you get shot at. That is like mimicking real life. And and I'm hoping again, to me, I see both sides of it. Being a police officer, bro, that is you're deployed 24-7. Think that think about that for a second. Every day you wake up. You're deployed 24-7. Obviously, there's going to be bad cops. There's going to be bad soldiers, bad airmen, bad sailors. There's always bad in a batch, but it doesn't make the entire batch bad, right? But I just like this concept because it gives you that different perspective of being a police officer, man. They get paid, what, 20K, 30K a year, 35K a year, you know? And that's the same with firefighter as well. Maybe I'll make an unrecorded firefighter version. Hashtag copyright. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, here are some screenshots that he did send me. Uh, Control F. This right here. I, I do really like. It's just matte black. It's not like roughness. It's not shiny black. You know what I mean? I, I really do like that. He got that distortion on that camera. Um, my guess is Alexander probably has like a set camera in his head that he's going to be trying to mimic for this game. Maybe like a GoPro or something like that, which is really smart. And what's cool about this is in Unreal Engine 5.3, we now have an, uh, an anamorphic camera calibrator. So you can technically tweak in some distortions from real life lenses. But yeah, man insane now obviously this is a meme he just made this you know whenever the gta 6 trailer came out so but this is some new footage we've never seen before obviously and and when i saw it i, I hit him up i was like I, I need this i need this in full rest like right now and he's like well it's it's just a screen from from my my computer so it's not really like anything special he just made it for the meme i'm like dude it's it's insane this is going to be good. This is going to look good. But um, little shameless plug right now. My Unreal Engine 5 introduction to lighting is actually on sale right now. 50% off. If you want to support the channel, man, that would be great. It's a really good introduction to lighting in Unreal. We're talking about bake lighting, dynamic lighting, lumen, uh, some lighting tips that I use whenever I'm rendering in Unreal. Go check it out on ArtStation. I'll put the link in the description below. But yeah, what do y'all think about this new teaser clip from uh, Alexander Drama Unrecord Team? Let me know in the comments below. Peace out.